because this area is surrounded in, in such an urban space and that means there's actually a lot of auto body shops a lot of industry around here we know there's a lot of pollutants entering the storm drains in the surrounding areas and slowly flowing into the creek so we wanted to be able to help both protect the creek and create some more off-channel habitat for salmonids and other species because the invasive plants completely destroyed the water table in this wetland. It was no longer functioning as a wetland. So in 2019, we were able to get an excavator to come in here. It was very exciting. They dug up all of those invasives. They were able to create these little island habitats, which are excellent for nesting birds, and even putting up a number of logs here again more perching areas for birds we've had a lot of birds nesting in some of these wildlife trees as well and the very next year the very first um, spring we saw our first family of ducks that we'd seen in a long time cute little babies and they come every single year more ducks it's been so wonderful to see and as you can see it is july and this is nice and full with water we're seeing water striders and we're going to be doing some more insect surveys as well we're going to be testing for fish in here but just having this right here being able to collect water from all the surrounding areas filter it before it reaches the creek right across the street is doing a fabulous job for salmon as well so this wetland is just doing an amazing job of filtering water and providing habitat not just here but in the creek and the estuary and there's continuing work that we have to do here um, to maintain the space because there is a seed bank of some invasive plants still. So what our crew is currently working on includes uh, clipping the seed heads and digging out any um, new growth of invasives. And there are fewer and fewer every year, which is really lovely to see. And uh, we also make sure that we pick up the garbage. We have volunteers who continue to push back even further some of the areas we haven't gotten to yet to continue to improve this habitat and maintain it for all the plants and animals and for all of its filtration purposes as well.